debut for 2023 is the Springfield Echelon. The striker-fired polymer frame pistol features Springfield's new variable interface system for mounting multiple optic footprints and the serialized cog fire control for inserting into multiple frames. Find out more at springfield-armory.com. Hey there, Tundra Nation, and welcome back to the channel. Today on Tundra Tactical, we are feeling a bit uh, frisky. Meow. It feels like it's time for something hot and exciting in our lives, like a new firearm. So sit back, get ready to swipe right, that was left, and let's find out what your favorite firearms Tinder profile says about you. What an idiot! The Glock 19 is the one that you end up with. After all, the more attractive options have just let you down in the past and you're ready to settle down. But that boring profile hides a shocking truth. At some point, your Glock will have a midlife crisis and everything will change. Mother of God. Out goes that boring white t-shirt lifestyle, and in comes color-coded barrels, high-performance triggers, and weird slide serrations. The trusty Glock that you've had for so many years, well, it's having a mid-Glock crisis. All of a sudden, Glock perfection is replaced with Glock party time! You don't recognize your trusty gun anymore, and you start to worry that it's sneaking out to the range at night to be squeezed by someone else. Go on. The Glock's pickup line is simply perfection, but said with an Austrian accent and spelled with a K. Next up is the Remington 870, a no-nonsense kind of firearm that is 100% sure it's never been to a convention in Geneva. What did you say? The Remington 870's life is a wild ride of hunting trips, fishing expeditions, and bar brawls. Oh, and that one time it outdrank an entire biker gang. Now, the 870's dating profile is a strange combination of pictures from hunting trips mixed with grainy security footage. Footage? Footage. Footage. The 870's dating profile is a strange combination of pictures from hunting trips mixed in with grainy security camera footage showing would-be thieves running from convenience stores and Metro PCS cellular stores, followed by a loud boom. In short, the Remington 870, well, she gets around. Or he. In whatever case, it's 2023. We fear change. Well, a bit rough around the edges, it's so popular even Joe Biden doesn't want to ban it, and that is amazing. If you're going on a date with a Remington 870, you best love dogs, America, and picking pellets from your dinner. The Remington 870 doesn't really have a pickup line, just a unique click-clack noise that seems to get everyone's attention. Ah, the old Mosin Nagant, the gun that's been around the communist bloc more times than a streetwalker on a breadline. This is the gun that's fought in wars, toppled empires, and still has the time to take you out for shots and vodka. When the Mosin parties, it's crushing dissidents first, then drinking a fifth of the people's best distilled potato juice. The Mosin's profile is a history lesson in debauchery, filled with battles and revolutions. I mean, if you end up chatting with the Mosin, it's never going to stop talking about that one time. It outlasted Germany in a run at the Bullets contest. <laughs> By the way, if you are German, just trust me on this one. Swipe left, it's going to save you the long, cold walk of shame home. The Mosin is a bit of a player that somehow always convinces you to buy the drinks when on a date, calling it a redistribution of wealth to the people, even if the people is just him. Weird how that works. When making its move, the Mosin is anything but subtle, dropping the pickup line, Hey comrade, let us share the means of reproduction. This line rarely works, so the Mosin tries it on everyone they can, believing in volume of fire over precision. Now our next rifle comes from a family of bad boys, the AR-15. Oft mistaken for its dirtier sibling, the M4A1, or its older M16 dad. The AR-15 may not be the full auto rifle that you want, but it's the semi-auto rifle that you get. The AR-15 is a must for the social media set. I mean, do you even have a GunTube channel or an Instagram without an AR? Seriously, if you don't have an AR, do you even post, bro? While the AR comes off like the stylish rogue, in its heart, it is ready to change anything you need. Is the barrel length not doing it for you? 
no problem. Go a little bit longer or shorter. We don't judge here. Need something more impactful on target? Well, then buff on up to that girthier caliber. Don't think that bad boy is ready to settle down? No worries. With just a couple of cans of pink and blue pastel Krylon, you can turn that AR from a 2 a.m. club hopper into suburban dad chic, all ready to hop in that Subaru Outback and get the kids to school. Boring! The AR-15's go-to pickup line? Are you a pick rail? Cause I can't wait to attach myself to you. Mmm. Yeah. That's disgusting. <laughs> Alrighty, folks, you knew it was coming. Time to meet the Desert Eagle, a gun that's about as subtle as a sledgehammer to the face. This is the type of person who posts nothing but gym pics on their dating profile with hashtags like gym life and more plates, more dates. That's so dumb. Do people still do that? No. Mm -mm. The Desert Eagle pulls up to the club in an overly modified Ford Mustang, Fox body of course, and he's modified it so it's louder than an 18 wheeler and gets the same gas mileage. This is the guy who walks into the club with a gold chain, an unbuttoned shirt, and confidence that screams, I'm compensating for something, but who cares? Let's party. Kinda like Desert Eagle guy. <laughs> He finds a way to drop into every conversation about the one time he was in a movie where he played disposable henchman number three. His IMDb page links directly to his Tinder profile and his OnlyFans page. Now, we weren't willing to spend $9.99 to find out what's on said OnlyFans page, but if you know, drop it in the comments section down below. And please, don't let it be some weird feet thing. That's gross. That's nasty. His favorite date is taking girls to the gym where he has them lift weights that are way too heavy for him. This has led to multiple dates ending unfortunately in the urgent care with an Instagram post of a perturbed woman showing off a sprained wrist. This still doesn't stop him from asking for a handy at the end of the date. His favorite pickup line is, girl, you must be high caliber because I'm feeling the recoil in my pants. If you like feeling the recoil in your pants, come join me and the rest of the ARFCOM team at Gunstock in Dallas, Texas, the second to last weekend in September. Get your tickets and more info at GunstockTexas.com. The 1911 is the guy on the dating site that's older than everyone else because he just got ejected from his fourth marriage, so he's deciding to get back out there and start wooing the ladies. He struggled to download the app on his BlackBerry, but after his kids got him a gold-plated iPhone, well, he was off to the races. His profile is stocked with pictures of him in his younger days traveling through France and Germany on two separate trips. His favorite story to tell is the battle of his bulge. Wink, wink. Unfortunately, ladies born after 1995, well, they rarely catch that innuendo. Instead, they ask him if the Battle of the Bulge is a new gym in town and if the spinning classes are any good. Wow. Undeterred, just like the time he won two world wars, the 1911 reinvents itself, adding gold, like lots of gold, all the gold, in fact. The 1911's biggest fear is when that special moment arrives, well, he's gonna lock up and won't be able to get back into battery. Sensing dating apps aren't really his thing, the 1911 is planning a trip to the Swingles Resort in Boca Raton, Florida, where he will storm the dating beaches once again, starting every conversation with... Excuse me, miss. Is your smile chambered in 45 ACP? Cause it stopped me in my tracks. Our next profile is the Beretta 92. Sleek, sexy, and always dressed to impress. In high school, the Beretta had a cool nickname like Handsome Rob or Perfect Tommy. This is the gun that knows how to wine and dine, but everyone that they've ever dated says the same thing. They're not relationship material. The Beretta's Tinder profile is a work of art filled with casually dropped Italian phrases like ciao bella, bellissima, and it's a me. For the last time, anything you put on that prompter, Burgundy will read. Every picture in the profile has a different woman on an elegant boat sailing over clear blue water. There is one group photo with a caption that Google translates as beautiful day in Rome with my wife and mistress. But of course, that can't be right, right? Megan! <laughs> Man, I'm dead. 
The Beretta always seems ready for action, just don't ask about the time it jammed at the worst possible moment. The Beretta 92's pickup line? I keep some lubricating oil handy just in case. Wow, that's actually not even trying to be subtle. 